congratulations on your win. I know it was really tough, you know, you had to go three sets. Uh, tell me, you know, what you were thinking after you dropped the first set. Yeah. Well, uh, I know the, the conditions were tough, you know. Yeah. And I just want to think to, to keep going, keep fighting. Uh, he's a very aggressive player, very good serve, but I just try to, to focus on my game and that's it. Mm -hmm. Tell me, I, I was always wondering, how big is uh, tennis in Colombia? Well, I think Colombia is, is getting bigger, you know. It's, uh, each day is each day is, is better. Uh, right now we are well one one guy in the in the top hundred, then Faya me in the top two hundred. But yeah, it's getting better, and that's what we are trying. No? Mm -hmm. Do you have any uh, idols from Colombia tennis players that you looked up to when you were younger? Well, I I remember to to, to play in Mauricio Adal, Miguel Tobon. Uh, also very good players right now they are coaches and good guys <laughs> and so what are you gonna do uh, you know after you leave here you know what's the preparation for tomorrow uh, well tomorrow another match another tough match for sure the, like I said the conditions are not easy it's very hot here mm. uh, but no, just to, to try to enjoy the rest of the day and then we think of the, the other match excellent and last question for you Alejandro what are your goals for this year well uh, right now we we are working to, to of course in, in each season of my game my, my mental part the my fitness part everything to get better every day but to try to, to get that uh, my best ranking you know mm -hmm. last year I was 70 so go there and pass that that number. Great. Well, thank you so much for speaking with us, Alejandro. Best of luck and uh, take care, okay? Thank you. Thank you.